sure work where you can help us with paintball, so we talk about what we're thankful for this year, and happy Turkey Day. I was actually wanting to do a... Okay, just say happy, happy Thanksgiving. Day. Nobody cares. What? Say happy Thanksgiving on three. One, two, three. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Also, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Also, I'm Chris. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> that was just like him. That was amazing. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, decrepit and everything. Uh, my Phantom. name's Chris, and happy Thanksgiving. The Phantom of Thanksgiving. I can't see the red light. My lenses aren't real. Oh God, I put <laughs> myself in the eye. Oh, Jesus. Oh. She never gets any best after that. I want to What are you doing? Thankful for you guys supporting us so that Hustle can support all of us, um, you know, i.e., a job. Because without you guys, we wouldn't be here, uh, we wouldn't uh, be able to support our families, and we would probably be out, you know, turning tricks for to make money and pay bills. Because I think that's what they do, right? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, no, but seriously, thank you guys for supporting us, because without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Um, and of course, my family, uh, my wife, for supporting me and my habits of having to have new things, even though everything that I have works just fine. Um, but she didn't hear me say that, because, yeah, mine's totally broken. I need a new one of the new shiny thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm grateful for the good people who make Old English because without them I would have put a bullet in my brain already dealing with Adobe Premiere Pro. So this year I'm thankful for having the opportunity to work at Hustle Paintball and play with Team Anomaly as well as going home in seven hours to go see my family. Uh, that's going to be awesome. I'm also going to be playing paintball while I'm in Illinois so that's very Exciting, something to be thankful for as well. I get to see all my friends that still live in Illinois. So I've got a lot to be thankful for. And that wall. Oh, wait, my phantom's in pieces. You can't see that wall right now. <laughs> there's, gun there's guns up there that I really like. So I'm thankful for those as well. I don't have much to thank for at the moment. I'm gonna be one thing to thank for. Yeah! <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Alright. <laughs> 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 What's going on guys? Chrome behind the counter. Uh, we finally got some dye uh, core pants in. I'm going to show you real quick. Starting off with the bombers. Uh, a couple of reloads ago, showed you guys the, uh, the core jerseys. This is the Bomber Lime. Um, not sure how it's gonna look across on the camera, but the Lime is kind of more of a neon yellowish, greenish-ish fish thing. But either way, uh, matches the jersey really nice. Uh, I do wanna see how it looks against the I-4s though. So uh, I'll let you know about that later. Where the hell am I gonna put these? Bomber Blue and Red. Pretty fly. It's really easy with the bombers. You got the uh, 94 NF, which Russell 94. told you about last time. And 1994. 1994 uh, line. What's NF? What? <laughs> I don't know. I still can't remember what that means, but it means something. And I'm sure. Oh, the NF? Yeah. 94. 94. The number's 94. The NF is 94. They, they, they said 1994 twice. No, oh, 94, 94, just different. 
All right, so here are the Ace Pants. This is the uh, motocross bottom. You know, um, here is where you would be gripping the side of your, you know, Kawasaki KX250 while you're doing knack knack backflips over your mom. So uh, these are the bottoms, or not the bottoms, the pants. And here you've got the Ace Gray and Blue, same spiel there. And they still kept the, uh, the really nice knee padding in the cores, um, as well as the hip padding, which is really nice. Although I do wish they would put in some belt loops. Chris, put in some belt loops. Because, you know, sometimes cinching these up kind of can be kind of a pain. The air strikes, the, uh, the gray and red, which has been known for its uh, red crotchal region. I'm sure you could insert joke here about that. And here's the black and oh, gray and blue. Pretty nice, nice contrast, pretty sweet. And here are the formulas. Uh, this is the Formula One gray. Uh, this is probably what I'm gonna be wearing. Uh, maybe most of the guys on Anomaly are gonna be wearing these. We like a nice dull, not dull, but we don't like loud pants. Uh, subtle, that's the word I'm looking for. Formula One purple pants, or C14s. Again, motocross style. You know, surprising, you know, at first I wasn't really too excited about the purple and orange, but after looking at it for a while, you know, it's definitely 80s colors, but it, it really flows well with each other. I'm really surprised how it turns out. Anyway, so those are the pants. Um, and again, no box mag for the damn yet. Uh, it's gonna look like uh, they're not gonna be real until about December. It's like Christmas Eve, I think. So Christmas Eve, yeah, around there. So we probably won't have one be able to, to show you guys until January, so sorry. As you guys have noticed, um, you know, on our Facebook, we've had this, we had this note page. Uh, if you go to our Facebook, go into the little squares on the, on the far right there. It's a notes page. I'm gonna be constantly editing that for uh, used goods. Uh, it's not always markers. It could be masks. It could be just stuff that we have laying around that we need to move. Um, so keep an eye on that. As of right now, for this reload, or this Chromers behind the counter, we've got a Iron Man Lux uh, 1.0 with a 2.0 core that we threw in it uh, and a violent paintball scythe trigger. Really comfy. Um, let's see, what else is on here? I think it's, oh, a 2.0 board as well. We've got a Lux 2.0. This thing was maybe used uh, two weekends and the guy had to sell it. Uh, it's a slime green, uh, slime green and black. Uh, they're both gloss. Uh, 2.0, just a standard 2.0. It's pretty sexy, pretty nice. And then we've got this dust black on dust black 2.0. Uh, black on black. Black on black on black on black. Uh, it's really nice, um, really stealthy. Not sure if Ethan, or Ethan, I almost called you Ethan. I'm not sure if Russell can get the, uh, the tip wear a little bit, but that's normal. I mean, it's got signs of use. Um, has an exalt uh, red grip on here. Uh, the stock one is included, but on the stock one, it does have a little bit of wear right here. So, something to keep in mind. Um, and then, our last marker that is used are, is our JT Impulse. Uh, I'm sure you've seen in previous reloads, it was probably sitting over here or here, or over there, maybe there, I'm not sure. Um, but we have played with this thing for our review, uh, which is gonna be hopefully coming out shortly. We still need to do a couple other things for the video. Um, and on top of that, it kinda got put on the back burner because other guns are getting reviewed. So if you would like to pick this thing up, I mean, we barely, we played with it for one day, did an efficiency, te efficiency test on it. Um, I mean, we don't, we didn't like, oh yeah, this thing is awesome and durable. <clears throat> you wanna buy it? <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's practically brand new. So, if you're interested in that, 
Uh, it'll be on there as well. And then uh, this is Ethan's LV-1 case uh, for his anomaly LV-1. He just took the gun out of it and he's gonna go put it in a case to hang up on his wall at home or something. Um, surprising enough, somehow he managed to, uh, to get it scuffed up a little bit. I don't know, maybe he vigorously was excited and was like, oh my God, Anomaly LV-1. And there was like metal over here or something. So if you want that, uh, you know, if you got a spare gun that you want to get a nice case for, these cases are freaking awesome. Uh, of course, you can cut out whatever uh, to make whatever gun fit in there. So that is all. Um, we're, not doing, we're not doing the whole like, you know, trade my gun kind of thing or we'll take your, your beat up gun for a brand new gun, whatever. Um, this is something that we're just dabbling in. So um, please save your, your really bad shape marker offers for them. Opportunity to buy really nice guns. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't take any used guns in if we couldn't sell it and we know that it was a quality marker, it was well taken care of and it's not in bad shape. So um, keep that in mind, guys. Uh, other than that, uh, if, you, if you're looking to sell or trade your marker, there's always PB Nation or PB Riot. Both of those forums have buy sell trade groups. So anyhow, guys, it's kind of short, but um, you guys have a good one. I'll see you later. And oh yeah, happy uh, Turkey Day. I hope you're in a food coma getting fat on your mom's couch. Because I know I will be. <laughs> so what am I thankful for? I'm thankful for, you know, the usual stuff. Friends, family. Thankful for a job that I actually love. Thankful for anything that just comes my way. That's pretty much it. Thanks. <laughs> what am I thankful for? Well, easily, family and friends. Um, I get to go home from my work day to my lovely wife four awesome kids, and honestly, life's pretty good. So, you know, that is really a big thing for me. And friends, you know, outside of Hustle here, and we're all friends, not best friends. I mean, I'm not gonna invite some of these guys to my house, but, you know, most of them are pretty damn cool guys. So, you know, friends here, friends outside of work, you know, friends that are friends of family or family of friends, you know what I mean. But yeah, you know, just that overall community feeling, that's definitely what I'm thankful for. And, you know, the fact that, well, I've made it through another year and hopefully make it through one more. Thanks, guys. Have fun. Bye. This is weird, recording myself. But yes, I am thankful for a great year at Hustle Paintball. I'm sensing a theme here. Um, but, you know, all the travel I got to do this year, all the people I got to meet, all the supporters of Hustle Paintball, um, you know, Spencer, uh, Zach, all you guys. It was so cool to meet you guys and hang out with you guys. It's pretty, pretty cool to actually put the faces to all the people that we talk to online. So yeah, all the travel, very cool this year. Looking forward to it next year. Hope I'm as lucky uh, next year I get to do the same stuff. Unfortunately, Ben left wicked early yesterday, so I kind of forgot to ask him what he's thankful for, but I can take a guess. She wants to I'm go assuming this is what Ben is thankful for. Isn't that right, Ruby? Don't ignore me! Yeah, there you are. Um, ben, this is what you're thankful for this year, right? Look at that face. She says, what are you doing? I don't care. I was sleeping. I'm mega thankful for the support we get from, well, everyone, including people like Daniel Ross of Team Anomaly. Uh, but not just, uh, not just knowledgeable support, but moral support and encouragement. Um, we, we do a lot of things kind of by, by our bootlaces here. And uh, that can be really challenging. Be really tough, and so the, the support and the encouragement we get from everyone is amazing. It's absolutely unbelievable. So, more than anything, that's what I'm thankful for. We have a lot of fun doing what we're doing, and uh, by and large, it's because of you guys. It really is. Who like you and him? It's tough to put in words. Yeah, Which place do you usually go to? What's your place? Uh, I go to winter just because my <laughs> winter park because my family's got a cabin. That is awesome. Let me get my Einstein here.
Hey guys, this is Morty Chroma, and I'm here at Hustle Paintball. And I'm here. And I'm here. To, and I'm here. To, and I'm here. <laughs> Video games not your thing? Parents, I'll come over, tuck your kids in, and we can maybe split a pizza and do a crossword. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. 